Would you say na na? What you say? What you say na na? <laughs> Welcome, Thundercats, to Ashley's Land, where we expose the truth of whatever spirit wants to be exposed. Just not shit we just making up, you know. We all do have gifts. But anywho, so y'all shuffling these decks. These cards came out. You have the Humpback Whale Singer. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. I was guided to get this animal Kakusa deck because I've been seeing a lot of Kakusas out here to let me know what's going on. Giving me signs. Then you have Swan, Grace. You who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into ele elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity, dignity and the spirit of beauty. Y'all see how that just flew? <laughs> Somebody was trying to stop that because it landed just like this. This is what somebody don't want you to be seeing in this light. So this could be dealing with some type of artist or you just like to sing and you probably get messages through songs or something like that. Somebody mad. They'll be all right. Who fucking cares? Or mad because you can sing and they can't. But we all got gifts. You got to learn what's yours. You can't be trying to take nobody else's shit. Like... I just don't get it. And I know I keep telling people it's not for us to get. We just need to get what we need to fix inside of us. Like we can lead a fucking horse to a water, but you can't make that bitch drink. So then with this deck, I got courage. Let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. Somebody's mad because you're walking in your faith and they feel like they are stuck is what I'm getting. And then the mystic of cups which talk about your intuition, your third eye being open, balance, you know, healing energy, having compassion. Like, you understand, but you still not going to let these people, you know, take what you so hard worked for, your confidence, because they try to keep you in low energy so you won't be confident in yourself or believe in yourself. I gave you all that morning. More than you needed. Anything else from this deck, Spirit? <laughs> mystic again. Come on, Spirit. It's polar bear. Mystic. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest. Dream and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. Somebody mad because you are a healer. You're a shaman. You're the shaman in your family. Your bloodline. You healing your bloodline. You cutting off some dead roots, dead branches. You letting them go and you starting over. Peacock, vibrancy. You were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. They did not want you to see this. I'm getting no shoon energy. Because they're not in this light. Because they sold their devil. They got tricked. And so they sold to the devil. And they wanted you to do the same. But even if you are showing humility, like people are still going to be jealous of you. Because you are walking in your purpose. You you have the courage to be yourself. Regardless of what that is. Like you're not afraid to say, hey, I can't do this. Or, you know, right now this is not working for me. Yes, I'm not in the head space. I need help. You're not afraid to do this. These people are. Because they don't want to be looked at in a different light than what their mask they have on. And speaking of that, Spirit keeps telling me to go watch the mask again with Jim Carrey so I will be doing it after I do these readings Moose Wisdom 
Let your head and mind reach to the stars, yet keep your feet grounded on the earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. It's like I'm picking up um, high priest or high priestess energy. Your information you getting from within, you're not going without. The bottom of the deck, hummingbirds, miracles. Come on, y'all. I've been saying, I've been saying hummingbirds. You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. This is why they can't stand you. They can't stand you for this. Because no matter what they threw at you, you still showing, shining and showing who you are. You still will look at the positivity out of negativity. And you go from that. Like you're not sitting here dwelling in the past and having this low vibrational energy and just being a menace to society. You're teaching people how to change. Whatever people get in your energy, it's like you help them change in some type of way. Like you're a walking karma for people. It says, when the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroads in your own evolution. Yes. You had to learn to get out your ego. That when things happen, it's not happening. Spiritual burp. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you in utter order for you to upgrade, to elevate and level up to who you truly are. That's why you have to constantly call your energy back to you. That's why you have to constantly cleanse your energy. Because people who are lost souls out here, because it's showing me the movie Soul, the Disney movie. If you don't understand it, go back and watch it and ask Spirit to give you discernment. To watch it in those spiritual eyes. And you might have to watch it more than once like I did. Because you're not going to catch everything. But if you don't find your passion in life and instead go for jobs that because of the money is good or because it makes you in this social bracket or whatever the case may be and you're not come doing it because this is what you're passionate about, you're a lost soul. You're not going to be happy. You're going to wear that facade. You're going to have people thinking you're happy. Oh, because I got all this money. I got all these cars, these clothes. I'm living a life, but really you are dead inside. You are a lost soul. That's why you're supposed to go towards things that's your passion. And I just heard a noise. And I see a little fruit fly in here. I've been killing several of those. So I know they have been spiritually spying on me, but they ain't getting out this house alive. You got divine love. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. Yeah, you detach yourself from people, places, and things, addictions, whatever the case may be that you felt was holding you back. <laughs> and then detachment come right behind it. Come on, speak, spirit. Use me. I am your vessel. The highest love and light. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside, with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often when it's fulfilled. I'm telling you, it's like you might start something and, you know, somebody going to send some spell work to try to, you know, keep you from gaining your goals and stuff like that. But instead of being attached to it, like, oh, this got to work, this got to work. You have you have your hands in other baskets, eggs in other baskets. So if one thing don't work, you go on to the next. But it's like, how would you know what you like if you never try it? So this is why you get fulfillment because you're not attached to anything expecting it to work. It is what it is. You're just enjoying the moment. You're enjoying the feeling that whatever it is that you're doing brings you. So at least you can say, yeah, I tried it. It didn't work for me. I didn't like it. Or yeah, I tried it. I liked it. I can incorporate something else with this. You're building on that. Who's to say that just because it don't work right now that spirit is not going to bring you around full circle to come back to it. You just have to learn other things that go along with it. Everybody is in the divine timing. Everybody is not on the same timeline. Stop looking at what other people are doing, what they have, and try to compare yourself because you don't compare what you, you can't compete what you don't compare. That's not your role. That's not your lane. 
You got to work with what spirit is giving you. Extraordinary. There's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. People see your uniqueness and people love you for that. While others, they see your uniqueness and they hate you for that. Because you're there to be different. And it's two peacocks in here. And peacocks are very pretty. I love peacocks. Like I said, Oshun energy. Looking at the yellow abundance. Like you're mesmerizing. Some of y'all, you know, you could just be walking somewhere and then people just start staring at you and you're like, what the fuck? I always be like, well, maybe they think I'm pretty. <laughs> I don't know if y'all been around or sitting somewhere and it's empty and then all of a sudden everybody come towards you and you looking around like all oh, that goddamn space over there. You want to be over here because it's your light clearing. As true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mind, mind, mind to God's, God's, God's such freedom. You 11, 11, you do not own nothing but your soul. That's what you have free will over. Your morals. Some of y'all may have a connection with Ganesha. Because I seen Kalima in my third eye too. Indian descent. Yeah, worth. You have been worthy to belong to love all alone. Without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. This is what you had to learn. People may made you have felt like you're not worth a damn. Baby, you are worth all that and more. If you don't believe it, nobody else will believe it. We're not faking it till we make it around here. It is what it is. And in my last video, I said when I did my spell work on myself, the one thing that they was attacking, attacking 12-12, was my self-love. Telling you that's like the glue to everything else. Because your self-love is what's going to dictate what you're going to accept, what you're not going to accept, all of that. Once you break down that self-love and make you feel like you're worthless and stuff like that, you're in lower vibration. 12-34, I keep seeing it. 1, 2, 3, 4. 12-34. Things are progressing. You just had to go through the steps and let go. Yeah, people are um missing you. Yeah, if you walked away, these people thought you didn't matter, you didn't make no difference, that you were gonna come back to them. But it's the other way around. They actually need you. They can't live without you because you were the light to help guide them what you was trying to do, but they pushed you away because they didn't want to get out their ego. If I was playing spades, I had it right there. Self-love. Come on, y'all. This is what they was attacking. But your self-love is too strong. Let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner, inner child. I learned to take care of myself like never before. You learn to heal them old wounds, especially dealing with your inner child. You knew that's where it start. That's where the detachment was. You had to come back to self. Congratulations, that's not an easy thing to do. Letting go at the bottom, you have divine flow. Eventually, one subline desires takes precedence over all others to follow the tale the divine flow at all costs. You're just going with the flow. Whatever spirit brings to you at that moment, you're looking at it with duality. Okay, I know the negative is, going, is here. I see what the negative is. Okay, what's the positive side to it? What can I do to heal this so I can learn this lesson and go on to the next chapter? You're just going with the flow. Like I said, you're detaching from things that no longer serve you. Everything has its place, its time. And this value at some point in your life. Everything depreciates. Not your soul though. Not that self-love. Not that divine love. Letting go. Everything is indeed out of control. And God will hold it all. I can safely let go. 
the burden is not yours. What they say is the Lord's, it's spirits. Stop holding on to things that spirit is showing you that you need to fucking let it go. And that's what we fall short at. We always want to hold on to, oh, I don't spend so much time with this person, da 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 What else? Because you wasn't looking at those red flags. You thought that you could change this person. This person clearly was showing you that they don't want to change. Don't save her. I don't want to be saved, ass. But as long as you was there and putting up with that bullshit, they was going to keep doing it. So now you learn that when people show you who the fuck they are, you walking the fuck away. Okay, I release this with love and I'm going about my way. Gratitude for the things that you showed me that I needed to heal from 1551 as I said that. Because most of the time when you meet people and it's something about them that you don't like, it's a reflection within yourself or something that you need to heal within yourself. Let me illustrate you. Let me jump. Wet. Somebody want to come in and give you some. People you just attach from. Old lovers and stuff like that. Tell me if you had an old lover to come back. They try to take your energy. They ain't take nothing. You call judgment on them. Something's going on. You call judgment on them. They in this five of pentacles. They thought they were going to take your energy. You walked away from them. It was something that you needed to expose about this person. She has antlers. So it's like a shapeshifter. Sometimes a demonic creature. Gratitude spirit. I'm also picking up that whatever demonic entity that's on this person, it took roots in it and roots are growing out everywhere and they need somebody to help them. Yeah, the hermit. Stay in hermit mode. You see this. That's how you are able to walk away from people. Because you know your energy. You've been cleansing your energy. You've been grounding yourself. You've been eating right, eating healthy. Like, you might drink, you might smoke, you know what I'm saying? You, you might give have sex, but you are protecting yourself with it. Energetically, and as well as spiritually and physically. So when these people come in and they try to take something from you or they're being deceitful, you're able to pick it up just like that. Or it may take you a little minute and you pick it up. And then you return back to center because you was already protected and you banish it out of your energy. And they have to walk away from it. And I got a message. Yeah, three of swords. Heartbroken. All these plots and schemes that these people were doing and trying to do. Some of them may work together. Some of them may have got hired from your, your people or, you know, promised certain things. It's the demon that's on these people. They weak as fuck right now. <laughs> they try to hold on, but really not knowing that you're taking their power. Instead of transmuting it, you're taking their shit and you manifesting whatever the fuck that you want. Because it keeps showing me American gods, that deity that was from Egypt, how when she had sex with somebody, then she'll open up and she'll swallow them. And I'm like, spirit, what does that mean? What it is? And it's almost like you are getting these incubus and succubus spirits that's on people and you're trapping them and you're sending them back through this portal, your portal. But you had to learn how to heal your energy and get keep these demonic entities off of you or else they will attach to you and become a part of you and then bring you to a lower Vibrational state. That's not for everybody. Mystic of Pentacles. Yeah. Your creativity. I'm telling you, sexual energy. All this is being exposed. They try to take your... <laughs> everything that you work hard for, like your milk and honey. 
your creativity, it is what is going to give you your money, your abundance. Spiritual birth. The architect, I'm telling you, what you're building on, what spirit it put inside you to, for you to build, to grow your foundation. Your body objective, so they just in lust and energy. Architect came out again, so yes, I'm going to take it. Stability. Your creativity, you working on your creativity, doing what is natural to you, your passion. And you don't care who like it or who, who don't. It makes you happy, and that's what counts. You don't see them haters. I'm going to get you, bitch. Come back around here. Sorry, y'all. That's that. Uh, fly. Yeah, five of cups. If they were spying, they can't no longer spy. If they were sending you evil eye, their eyes have been blinded. They only seeing their fate, which they thought it was yours at one point. No, it's theirs. And they seeing it. And they are regret. I just heard, don't cry for me, Argentina. Now, Spirit said, don't cry over spilled milk. They lost you, but they still have these two cups that they can build on. That self-love and self-worth. Yeah, I promise it's like I keep seeing something flash. Yeah, three of cups. Whoever they were celebrating with, drinking and partying and stuff like that. They trying to, they all wanted to share your energy. They're being exposed. You got the snake, the fox, and the hare being slick, slithery, sly, trying to outdo you. Yeah, the ancestors, the ancestors seen that. You call upon your ancestors. Your ancestors live through you. And when your vessel is pure, which means your frequency is rising, your energy is high, your vibration is high, get a message. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do a reading on that later. Anywho, it's like your different ancestors and deities and erasures and all this stuff come through you. They'll speak for you. Even in your dreams, if somebody attack you, they thinking they're looking at you, but it really could be your ancestors or these deities and erasures tapping into your energy, coming into you and tricking them. So whatever they trying to do to you, they absorbing it. Because they each have their own different powers. Yeah. Messenger of swords, I'm telling you. Keep speaking your truth. They're watching. They're watching what all these people are doing. Somebody want to be your boyfriend number two. Yeah, that's the motherfucking truth. Yeah, they don't want a commitment. They just see you shining and they want to be attached to you. So they say, oh yeah, I know you and ride your coattails. They're they going to get that abundance that you are exuding. But no, your ancestors ain't having it. Eight of swords, I'm telling you, they are binding themselves. They are trapping themselves spiritually and probably physically when they come up against you. They know better. They've been told to stop. Was this like your solar plexus? Got a light, lot of blues, your throat chakra, your heart green, your heart chakra, your solar plexus, your creativity. Not your creativity. Well, it's tied in with your creativity. It's linked, but it's your courage, your confidence. Your solar plexus, root chakra. And this ain't even a um a chakra deck. 
messing with your third eye. Like I said, they came in here trying to juggle you. Want you to juggle whether to stay in your divinity or, you know, go back to your old ways. That ain't happening. They thought they was tricking you, but you tricking them. Silly rabbit, tricks I forget. <laughs> Mr. Gavons, I'm telling you, you are a true witch. You're a good witch, white witch. Some of y'all are kitchen witches, green witch, earth witches. Like you probably possess all the elements. You probably mastered all the elements because I'm saying the last airbender. But you use it for good and not bad. It's like your, your third eye is wide the fuck open and they're trying to shut this down. They don't want you to see. But like I said, if they don't come to you being truthful, especially when you're asking them questions and they dance around it and stuff like that, or they do stuff and they're lying, the shit going to expose. They're getting exposed. They come, it's coming right back full circle to them. And it's coming quick. You're the karma. Eight. So like I said, you're bait. Shark bait. Woo ha ha. <laughs> All right, spirit. So I might have to watch Shark Tales again. Yeah, Two of Swords. And they're trying to come in blinded. Have your emotions confused and your mental confused. Like they say one thing, but their actions are showing another one. Spirit said that shit is not going to work no more. Totally coming in being deceptive. Sneaky. Trying to steal. And y'all do know owls are wise. So some, if you're he hearing what owls all of a sudden, especially when somebody come around, that's a warning. Spirit is warning you. Your ancestors are warning you that this person is being sneaky. But they are being seen, but you're being sneaky to watch this person. And as soon as they do it, call judgment on their ass. But doing it from a loving place. You ain't got to be mean. Dreamer of cups. Yeah. Somebody could be messing with your dreams. You're still psychic. You see your third eye? That spiral? You might notice that some people, like if you're white looking at people, they would not look you directly in your eyes. That's how you know they're hiding something because your eyes are the windows to your soul. You can see the truth by looking through somebody's eyes. For one, I'm telling you. They want to be a part of your stability, but they want to cause this cloudiness because they're still attached to a third party or they're messing with other people. They don't want to settle down, but they want to use your energy to get their wish fulfillment, especially their money. <laughs> Using some, any kind of magic or they know you're a ma manifester, master manifester. You're a star. They know you're a star. You're infinite. Your infinite being. They want to be attached. Yeah. Dreamer of Wands. And you got Oracle. You speak the truth. You probably even tell them stuff that's going on or that's going to happen and it's been showing up in their lives. They keep messing with you, spirit. Keep showing them. It's like everything keep happening to them. But it's like they still don't get it. They still trying to come after somebody else's energy instead of trying to clean their own. Like, God, shit. Well, look, him say, get your own shit. Why you riding mine? I'm telling you, healing. You can denounce the devil. Repent. Making amends. There's different ways you can do that. Yeah, you got six of cups. See that worker B? They see whatever cup you have, whether it's a blinged out cup or a raggedy ass cup, you bring life to any situation because you are emotionally balanced, emotionally intelligent. Yeah. You fertilize because what bees go to pollen, take the pollen out of the flowers and they, you know, her germinate. 
So yeah, this is what you do. You plant good seeds. This is why they want to get attached to you. But shit being exposed. Trying to give you signs that they're your twin flame or that y'all supposed to be together. Twin, where have you been? <laughs> that shit ain't working. All this false exposing this shit. Like y'all supposed to be together. And for some of y'all, this could be a person. People were sending y'all spell work trying to make it seem like this person was being sneaky. So you will be confused whether this person is your twin flame or a divine soul mate that you're supposed to be with. Six of Pentacles. That's going to give you equal give and take. And that's going to grow. That y'all going to pour into each other. Yeah. <laughs> y'all going to have ultimate wish for fulfillment. Daddy. Daddy. You might give a message to a one. So you might have a choice between somebody. You might have a choice between a twin flame and a uh, divine soulmate. One of them going to bring you burdens. Or want you to help them with their burdens. And one is, one is going to be independent and not going to depend on you. It will be able to help you. Yeah. Will wish fulfillment. Especially like in your craft or something. Yeah, messenger of cups. I told you y'all gonna get a message or something. Something's coming to you. Spirit is gonna show you. This is where you're crossroads at. It's so much confusion. Like it's clarity is gonna be clarity is gonna be set about this person or these people. Be patient. Wait till the storm is over. See how the sun just got brighter? Yeah, you're going to see exactly who it is that got passion for you and who heart is really light as a feather that actually did the healing work. It's not faking that they did it. Be patient. For now, hold on to your energy. Sit back and relax and wait. Be patient because these secrets are coming out. They're going to bring a balance. But if you're connected with this person, you're fucking going to be in that tower when I'm telling you because people, spirit is seeing what they're doing. Yeah, they're watching. You don't want to be in that cycle with them. You are in abundance. You're in an abundant cycle right now. So either you're going to sit here and pick the wrong person and end up in a karmic cycle with them all over again, or you're going to pick the right one and you're going to be in an abundant cycle with them. I'm telling you. You protect it. Trust your instinct. Instincts. Keep being you. Keep doing you. Because I'm picking up that one of these persons are going to try to change you. That don't want you to be doing your divination or your tarot cards or try to make it seem like that is evil when it's not. That is a part of you. You are an oracle. You are a messenger. And the other one is not going to stop you from doing. Matter of fact, you're probably opening up that side to them. That they might have been afraid to do because of, it's taboo in their family. Yeah. I'm telling you, reflect, reflect. See which one, you know what I'm saying? Is more open to your gifts and what you do. This is what's going to help you make this decision, the right decision. Yeah. Or if not, you got this fog over you. You might have a death to your um, abundance if you choose the wrong one. And five of swords and you're going to be all in your head and stuff about it. Yeah. And one is going to help you continue creating. It's going to be the light to your fire. Then you're going to be like scissors. What's the name of the song? I hate you. Yeah. This person is going to scramble you if you choose the wrong one. So have the strength and know that which one is bringing you the Ten of Swords. Don't want you to be you. Trying to stop you from being you. Trying to keep illusions around you. Trying to bring you heartbreak and all this stuff. And...
Now my earphones just disconnected and it got connected right back. So this person, one of these persons is going to try to disconnect you from spirit. If not one, both of them. Because you know you're going to get tested before spirit brings you the true one. So this is why you need to sit back and reflect on whoever this is, especially if you're out here dating. Whoever these people are, sit back and truly go within and ask spirit to show you what it is that these people are doing in the background, doing in spirit. Yeah. Because they fighting for you. One of them wants to be the victor, but one of them wants to control you and the other one wants you to be free. Because they love that you just go with the, the flow and that you're easy going and loving. Now, no matter what situation that you're in, they love to see your growth and how you help others. Yeah. So one of them want to bring you good changes and the other one don't. But like I said, they laugh now, cry later. You're probably going to be laughing. If you choose the right one, you're going to be laughing. You're going to be joy. But if you choose the wrong one, you're going to be in sorrow. So, that's all I have to say about that. It's a million ways to get it. Choose one. What Are you, are you going to stand for something or are you going to fall for anything? Are you going to forget what you went through and let this person come in and try to tell you how you should live your life knowing that it's not a spirit? Especially when you denounce your gifts. Because like my grandma told me. And maybe that's why that single card came out. That she used to be able to sing. But she said if you don't use it. You lose it. Or this is something that she gave up. Because it just showed me. The, uh, the Little Mermaid. How Ariel gave Ursula. Her, um, her voice box. In exchange to get this man. But she was on a time limit of when she, you know, she's supposed to marry him or do something to be connected to him. So maybe my grandma didn't get that time limit. She missed the time. So therefore, Ursula had her voice, her gift. Hmm. Great to spirit. I love how you help me connect to things. So, yeah, I'm going to get out of this energy. You know, you paint your own picture. Continue to do your spiritual baths, your potion, your witch, witchy stuff to heal you. Not to interfere on anything or anybody else's life, but to heal you. You might not be initiated in it. Just because you know how to don't mean that you're initiated to do it. I know how to do stuff, but I'm not initiated to do it. I don't feel comfortable doing it. I don't do nothing against nobody will because I wouldn't want nobody doing that against mine. Yeah. Know who's the villain in your story. Knowing who's up there singing. And I've seen a bird flash by. Know who's up here singing negativity into your ear because what was the first card? It said something about singing. Sing healing songs. Know who is singing healing songs and know who is singing songs to keep you back. Because it's giving me like sirens. This person could be a siren. Watch what they are telling you, what they're putting in your ear and your mind. And destroy it. Because they have low frequency. Rising. A.M. The word awaits you. I'm telling you. This is a gift. Whatever spirit has given you, you're supposed to show the world and give it to the world. But you have some people who are protesting. Don't want this revolution to, to stop because they try to inherit your kingdom. Or they don't want you inheriting your kingdom. Lighthouse, do not like doubt your worth. Continue to shine your light. You don't got to chase nothing. It's going to come to you. 
Don't be afraid to sing another one. Come on, y'all. Did I not say sirens? I know there's mermaids, but they remind me of sirens. You have good sirens and you have bad sirens. Slow down and celebrate yourself. You've been through a lot. Just don't overindulge. <laughs> don't overindulge, but do celebrate. Shark, swim away from this situation. I'm telling you, some of y'all are getting that notion to swim away. One of them ain't right for you. The other one is. Or the other one may not be. But like I say, you got to use your discernment. And have confidence in whatever it is that you're picking up. Don't be afraid of it. Focus on the here and now, not what y'all had in the past. Because what y'all had in the past, it still was dark. You might have had a couple of good times, but them dark times outweigh them positive times. I'm telling you, son, you had to paint that on your, that sun back into your life when you was with this person. So this could be somebody old and this could be somebody new. Somebody old could be coming in acting like they have changed or somebody new could be coming in acting like they're your divine partner or vice versa. That's why you have to use your discernment. Spirit said, let them go when you find out, when you go within. Don't ask somebody else. Go within. Don't ask my neighbor. <laughs> what I just say? Don't seek anybody's approval. <laughs> Y'all probably are connected with fairies or fays. They probably around you trying to help you, giving you these signs for showing me Tinkerbell. And how she was helping um, Peter Pan. All right. So, with that being said, peace, love, and gratitude.